Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I'm Dr. Mohanathanari. The channel fully focused on the bio statistics data analysis and data visualization related video post on the channel. If you like the channel video, click to the subscription button and support to me join to our channel membership. Let's go to the video. Now we are the discussion topic for the generalized linear model GLM. The tool for the analyzing SPSS statistical package software. So a generalized linear model GLM is an extension of the traditional linear regression model that allows for response variable that do not follow a normal distributions. It is widely used in biological science to analyze the relationship between variables. When the data distributions divided from normality such as count the data, proposition and binary outcomes. Why used generalized linear model in biological science? The biological science data often do not meet the assumptions of ordinary linear regressions such as normality and homogeneity. The generalized linear model handled from count data, binary outcomes and proportional data. For the first one, the count data, example for the species abundance gene expressions level. The past two are negative binary uh, distributions. The binary outcomes, example for the survival with death, presence with absence of the species. The logistic regressions, binomial distributions. The third one for the proportional data, example for the infection rate, germination rate. Binomial or beta regressions. SWAD continues the data, example for the reaction time hormone levels, gamma regressions. So the GLM compounds of the concern of the random compound, systematic compound, third one for the link functions. The first one for the random compound, the specific the probability distributions of the response variable, example for the normal and binomial. The systematic compounds defines how the explanatory variables predictor combine the linearity. Linearly. The link functions. The counts the mean of the response variable to the linear predictor. Example for the log it from log it for binary data log from count the data so the now analyze the data for the insert a button data for generalized linear model in SPSS software so the open the SPSS software the data already entered in the SPSS statistical workspace this is for the insert a button data how to enter the data in SPSS software the move to the tab for the variable view so the first enter for the variable name for the first one for the site id temperature and humidity habit type and insert a button data the spss for the directly the data not enter for the text for because for the habit type grassland and wetland directly enter for the text format so this is the choose options for the menu habit type change for the value options click to the button and add it to the value for the one for the label name for the forest so this is the options enter the method for the value for the one and the label for the forest then click to the add button then add to the checkbox for the value labels then click to the ok button then move to the data view then analyze to for the generalized linear model in space software go to the analyze menu Select for the generalized linear model. Choose the, uh, the first one options for the generalized linear model. Then open the new tab for the generalized linear model. The first one for the type of the model. Over the insert a button data. Choose for the count the options for the Poisson's linear options. Selected for the Poisson linear options. And the next one tab for the response options. The response options are added to the dependent variable. Over the data dependent variable for the insert a buttons. So select for the insert option variable, then move to the dependent variable. So move to the predictor options. This is for the factor, factor for the habit type. 
then move to the habit type for the factor box then next for the covariate options for the move to the temperature next one for the humidity then change to the model options this is for selected for the main effect of the standard options then move to the factor and move to the temperature and move to the humidity then next one for the estimated options there are no changes for the estimated options then next one for the statistical options then now uh, selected for the print options for the all the checkbox and include the extra one checkbox is added for the included experimental parameter estimations so then click to the ok button our the data is analyzed the first one for the table the generalized in model model informations so probability distribution for the poisons the link function is a log the dependent variable for the insert buttons so the case process summary for the include and exclude the total the include the total number of the data 10 the present 100 percentage so the categorical variable information for the third one table for the factor habit type the three type of the factor forest the grassland and wetland the number of the factor forest for the four and percent of the insert 40 percentage and the grassland is a 30 percentage and wetland is a 30 percentage the total of the Categ categorical variable 100 percentage the fourth on the table for the continuous the variable information the maximum minimum mean and the standard deviation for the ancient abutants the data temperature and humidity so the uh, next one table for the goodness of fitness the degrees of freedom and the value degrees of freedom then value added for the the goodness of it the table the next one for the omnibus test this is for the omnibus test the degrees of freedom 4 and significance is uh, 0, 0.00 and like good ratio the bar the high square value 76.887 so the next one table for the test of model effects so this is for the text of model access table next one for the last table for the parameter estimates so the enterprise habit type for the type 1 type 2 and type 3 the temperature and uh, humidity all the variables the present the parameter table then for the standard error lower upper values 95 percentage of confidence level and the hypothetical test the degrees of freedom the significance and the 90 percentage of the value upper and lower cases so this is for the uh, analyzing in the generalized linear model in spss software then i will upload for the another one video for the interpret, interpret, interpretation of generalized linear model in SPSS statistical software they used to data packages for the insert abutants the data and if you want the additional information for the generalized linear model I will the upload for the our blocker website I will article write to the blocker page that link mentioned to the this video description box if you like this video click to the subscription button and support to me join to our channel membership if you any doubt on this video leave me the comments in the comment box i will reply to you thank you for watching this video